calculate n if and there they give you they give you something what what do we call this this notation again sigma. sigma it's called sigma notation what is a different word that i can use sum so this says calculate n if the sum of this thing is equal to 125 can you think of formulas that we refer to as the sum formulas? The sum of a sequence is called a series. Remember that. So let's just quickly go and see what, what do they mean when they say this. Well, first of all, they say we're going from, we're going from k is equal to 1, and then it's going to step up to 2, to 3, all the way up to n, whatever n is, and if I add up all of those values, I'll get 125. So they want to ask, they're asking, how big is n? So let's start by substituting. Substitute k with 1. So we got 4 minus 3 times 1, which is? 3 times 1 is 3. 4 minus 3 is 1. So the first term is 1. Let's go for k equal to 2. 4 minus 3 times 2. 3 times 2 is? 6. 4 minus 6 is? Negative 2. Okay. 1 minus 2 is how much? Minus 1. Okay, so so far I've got minus 1. I'm still a long way off from 125. Okay, let's go second one. Okay. Now k is equal to 3. 4 minus 3 times 3 is how much? 9. 4 minus 9 is? Negative 5. You guys are stunned. So lovely. lovely. Okay. 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Okay, so so far I've got negative 7 plus 1 is 6. Negative 6. And this is going to go on. Let's just do one more. Okay, let's do one more. Let's try oh, the next one. K is now equal to 4. 3 times 4? 12. 12. 4 minus 12? Minus 8. What do you notice here? <laughs> we find the difference. We find, let's look at the difference, okay? Negative 2 minus 1 is? Negative 3. Negative 5 minus, minus 2, negative 3. Negative 8 minus minus 5, which means plus. Negative 8 plus 5 is negative 3. So this thing is going on till who knows when, okay? And eventually gives me an answer of 100, negative 125. That would actually be also negative, okay? And I want to know, up till n, how much is it? Now this, guys, is a, what do I call this again? A series. Okay, what type of series? We, hit, we know two types. Arithmetic and geometric. This one is? Arithmetic. Why? Constant difference. Constant first difference. Very good. In other words, if I know that's the, the case, then I know, okay, then we use this formula, the sum notation of n over 2, 2a minus plus n minus 1d. Now I just substitute with, what do I want to solve again? n. In other words, n is going to stay unknown, which means we have to know a, we have to denote d, and we have to know the sum of all the terms up to n. Okay? Let's quickly see what can we substitute. Do we know? We don't know n. It's going to keep unknown. What is a? A is 1. Why is it 1? A represents the first term. So 2 times 1 plus. In brackets, we have our n still unknown. And it's being multiplied with D. What is D again? Minus 3. What does it represent? 
constant difference, so we put in our negative 3. Okay. Now, what is the sum of all the terms up to n? Negative 125. They gave me the answer to the formula. And they're asking me to find one of the objects in the formula. So we're going to have to solve n if Sn is negative 125. Okay. Now if you couldn't come up to here, you got probably zero for it. Because then you didn't recognize what's happening here. When we use the sum notation, we will almost always use these Sn formulas. Okay. Almost always. I can't say that, but quite likely. Okay, so now to simplify, let's just multiply both sides with a 2 so that we get negative 250 is equal. Then I'm just multiplying the n inside. Okay, so I get 2n plus on that side I get negative 3 is multiplied with n, so I get negative 3n times n, so I get negative 3n squared. Then negative 3 is multiplied with the negative 1 gives me positive 3 times n is plus 3n. And now, how am I going to solve that? What do I recognize? What type of equation is it? Quadratic. How do I solve a quadratic? We are going to do brackets. Before I can do brackets, Everything to the one side. Guys, remember this, even in trig, the moment there is a square involved in your unknown, as a matter of fact, the moment there is any exponent other than one in your unknown, you take everything to the left, make it equal to zero, you get a mark for that, for recognizing it's a quadratic. Like if there's sine squared x plus what, 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 then you know, oh, take everything to the one side, it's probably a quadratic. Okay, so let's continue to solve this. Let's take everything that side. So we, the negative 3n becomes positive 3n squared. So then the 2n and 3n adds to 5n, which when I'm subtracted from both sides, I get negative 5n. And then the negative 25 is already on the right side. I'm fine with it. Everything is therefore equal to 0. <coughs> zero. Okay, now I need to make two brackets. Okay. Hmm. How am I going to do that? Okay. Quadratic formula. I love it. I also use the quadratic formula. You can probably try a few things. Okay. But let's just use the quadratic formula. Um, in other words, n is equal to minus b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4 a C over 2A. Okay, B is negative 5, so minus B is positive 5. Plus minus the square root. B squared is therefore 25 minus 4 times A is 4 times 12. Okay, and 12 times negative 25 gives me positive 12. Uh, oh, sorry, positive uh, 3,000. Yes. Divided by 6. So, you guys are going to give me two answers. What's the two answers? N is 10. Or, guys, you, get, you have to give both answers. Or N is negative 8,3 repetitively. Okay. Which one of that, that is a load of bull? Is this one negative? No, it's even negative. Okay. How on earth can you have negative number of terms? Okay. This, guys, uh, this is nonsense. It's really. What does nonsense mean? No sense. It makes no sense. 
Okay, so that's nonsense. We're gonna we, we're gonna ignore that. So how many terms will add up to 125? Negative 125. Ten terms. Ten terms. 